tickets to this Garth Brooks concert for months. Now, as a nurse, I say anybody with a temperature should stay in bed. As your wife, well, you know what they say, starve a cold, take a fever to a Garth Brooks concert. <laughs> All right, hon, if you get to feeling better, give me a call. Oh, is Nick sick? He seems to be. He was supposed to go with me to see Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. Oh, that country singer. Excuse me. <laughs> Calling Garth Brooks that country singer is like calling Arnold Schwarzenegger that guy with a nice bill. <laughs> Garth Brooks is hot. Hell, he could just hum in the shower and still go triple platinum. <laughs> well, I'm in a pinch to find someone. Oh, uh, so you want me to go? I said I was in a pinch, not desperate. <laughs> I think I'll ask Judy in proctology. She could use a change of scenery. <laughs> Laverne, this is Doug, my new partner, on duty and off. Well, keep your hands on or off duty, and your hands off or on duty, and you'll do fine. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, Doug. Nice to see you again. What are you guys doing around here? Trying to identify a body. Where should we have lunch, Dougie? I don't know anywhere. But first, I got to call the station and tell them the body was burned beyond recognition. Hey, Cajun! <laughs> use, the, you use the phone in my office. It's right in there. Hurry, Boo Bear! Boo Bear? Daddy, do you know what is so weird? I've only known him six weeks, and I've never felt this way about anybody. He's all I think about. And I'm so happy. Oh, baby, that's great, honey. Well, I'm happy that you're happy. Yeah, yeah, all God chilling is happy. <laughs> well, still no luck? Uh, Judy's got to work overtime. Seems she's the only one down there who knows how to give a lower GI. Guess you could say she's left holding the bag. <laughs> Barbara, you want to go to a Garth Brooks concert tonight? Oh, I love Garth Brooks, but we have plans. Hey, don't worry about me. You two go on. I'll be fine. You sure? Hey, it's not like we don't see each other every day at work. Okay, it sounds fun, Laverne. Dr. Weston's office. Oh, Nick. Oh, you're feeling better. Great. Hey, I can get us police passes and we can go backstage. Backstage. <laughs> Nick, you ain't going nowhere now. You're a sick man. <laughs> I held everything And for a moment Was a night king But if I'd only known How the king would fall They used to say You know I might have changed it all And that There no seats we was stuck in. I told you they let cops in anywhere. Anyway, ask a pay. Uh huh. Wow. But I Hold it. And no one gets past here, not me, no one. 
Yeah, but we're big fans. Fans? All right, he's over there. I've seen better security in Parrot World. Okay, I told everybody in the nurse's lounge I'd get his autograph or die Klein. Just blend in, act nonchalant. Oh, my Lord, Garth Brooks is standing right there. I don't believe you, Garth Brooks. Laverne, what happened to nonchalant? Oh, my Lord, Garth Brooks is looking at me. Oh, Nelly. Jeez, no. Jeff, I'm gonna need a hand here. I'm gonna have to get this gal some hair. Huh? Yes, ma'am, I'm Garth Brooks. Oh, no. <laughs> Gosh, I'm sorry, Garth. Uh, I don't know how they got in here. Rock Buddy, if you're standing here, who's got the front door? Uh, uh-oh. Oh. Uh, Miami PD, everybody stay back. Just stay back. Yes, all security personnel report to backstage immediately. Stay back. Daddy, wasn't the ballet exquisite? Very relaxing, dear. You know, I think my favorite part of the ballet was La Promenade des Fruits qui Peuriteur. <laughs> the March of the Rotting Fruits. What was your favorite part of the evening, Daddy? The parking lot. <laughs> Hi, Weston. Where you been? I took Daddy to the ballet. Speaking of which, Harry, don't you ever wish you had a son? Someone you could take the old fishing hole, someone to putter around the hardware store with? He has Barbara. Someone who could move in with you while his house is being tended and fumigated? Now, Charlie, if we let you come and stay with us, we'd have to say yes to all the vermin. Charlie, why don't you just check into a motel? Yeah, I guess I could. Some little flop house on the highway. The smell of moldy carpeting. The rhythmic flash of the electronic sign with one missing bulb. Achency, achency, achency. All right, all right, all right, Charlie. You can stay, but just one night. Daddy, have you lost your mind? It's only one night, Carol. So is the Bay of Pigs. Carol, not a word. Okay. Good night, Dad. Good night, sis. Yeah, what's keeping Barbara? Where is she? Oh, that's right. She went to that hillbilly hoedown. <laughs> Hi, guys. Howdy, partner. Daddy, Carol, this is Garth Brooks. Hi. Well, rope my feet and call me Doggy. <laughs> Hi, I'm married. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Brooks, it's a pleasure. Just come on in here. Thanks. Hey, great dog. You want him? He's yours. Take him. <laughs> well, it's a real honor to have you in our home. Garth, give us a ride home to his limo. Laverne lost her keys. Really? Laverne never loses anything. I lose lots of things. What's wrong with you? <laughs> we met Garth backstage after the show. Yeah, I was having a little trouble backstage, and uh, Barbara really bailed me out. You know, you got quite a daughter here. Shoot, I offered her a job as chief of security on the road. It's a great offer, but I can't leave the force. And I don't want to leave Doug. Excuse me, I'm going to go call him and say goodnight. Well, oh, well, it must be very exciting being in show business, huh? Being all those people cheering for you and selling all those albums. And... Do you know Victor Marwin? I'm sorry, I wanted 555-3201. This is it. Is Doug there? Just a minute. Boo Bear? He's in the shower. Who is this? This is his girlfriend. Who is this? Nobody. So, Garth, let me see if I understand this. So then, uh... Dogie isn't really a dog at all. <laughs> well, that's fascinating. Uh, I think it's time I let you folks get to sleep. Uh, come on, Laverne, I'll drive you home. Oh, no, 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 don't bother. I'll drive Laverne. Don't you dare. It's nice to meet you. You too. Uh, no. Garth, listen, I've been thinking about it, and uh, I'd love to go on the road with you. Cool. What are you talking about? I've decided to take the job. I'm going to take a leave of absence. Are you serious? Barbara, are you going to leave home just like that? I mean, what about Doug? 
Oh, I just talked to him about it, and he's devastated, of course. But he wants what I want. Now, Barbara, you know now the, the road means like a different town every night, lonely motel rooms, not sure where you're going, sometimes not even sure where you've been. I think I just wrote another hit. <laughs> With an itinerary like that, I believe you could use a nurse on board. Barbara, I'll call you tomorrow. We'll work out the details, okay? Let's go get in your limo, Garth. Uh, would you mind driving by my friend Judy's with the moonroof open? Driving by Judy's with the moonroof open? I think I'll leave that one for Vic Damone. you. Bob Barnard, are you sure you want to do this? I'm sure. Are you sure you have enough money? I'm sure. Are you sure you won't take your sister with you? <laughs> Daddy Carol's waited 30 years to have you all to herself. I know, and I'm frightened. <laughs> all right, look, honey, if you decide you want to come home... Daddy, why do you keep saying that? Because this is all so sudden. Do you seem happy with what you were doing, weren't you? Yeah, but this is a chance of a lifetime to work with Garth. How could anyone pass it up? Okay, now maybe I'm asking too many questions, but what about you and Doug? You're right. You're asking too many questions. <laughs> no, no, it should be four men in front, four men in back. Yeah, and do me a favor, check with the fire marshal, because we really have to keep that side gate closed. Okay, bye. Cool. Little sewing kit. <laughs> Hello? Doug. Doug who? <laughs> oh, Doug! Yes, I seem to remember you. But not as much as I remember your girlfriend! <laughs> oh, still no answer, Drife. Barbara, where are you? What are you doing? Oh, my God. God, she ran off with the drummer. It's always the drummer. <laughs> Women go for those Gene Krupa types, you know? Dad! Uh, will you stop saying that? I am so glad you're home. Have you seen my book? What book? My pop-up edition of Lady Chatterley's Lover. <laughs> I threw that disgusting thing away, Charlie. Right. When you're done with it, I'd like to have it back. <laughs> Charlie... You've been here for five days. I mean, how long does it take to fumigate a house? Well, don't blame me. Blame the seven-legged tiger weevil. You know, it eats 30,000 times its weight in one day. Well, that just does sound pretty scary. You're telling me we're still trying to find the orchid man. <laughs> Good night, Papa. Hi, Daddy. Boy, are we gonna have fun tonight, just the two of us. <laughs> well, I don't know, dear. It'd be pretty hard to top the fun we've had this past week. <laughs> Now, Daddy, I know you weren't really crazy about the lecture on feminist themes in German opera. <laughs> so tonight, I got us a video. Oh, all right, good. Napoleon. It's French, it's silent, and it's four hours long. So put on your glasses and let's get started. God, it's good to be off that bus. Didn't I just leave this room? <laughs> Hi, this is Doug. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave your... Hello, I'm home. Hang on. <laughs> Thank you. 
Check out times one o'clock. There are two fire exits. One on the left hand side of the hallway, one on the right. <laughs> yep. Hello? Daddy. Hi. Yeah, I'm having a great time. Yes, of course I miss you and Dreyfus too. And you know what's weird? I always thought if I got away from Carol, I wouldn't miss her a bit. I was right. <laughs> yeah, I'm making a lot of new friends. Daddy, I gotta go. Somebody's at the door. Okay, bye. I'm coming. Hi, Kimberly. How's it going? Same as 10 minutes ago. Here's another burger. You got a tapeworm or something? <laughs> no. Actually, I'm not really that hungry. I just wanted some company. No. <laughs> yeah. You see, I used to be a cop, and this really humiliating thing happened to me, and I didn't want to tell my family about it. So I took this tour, and now I'm here with Garth, and I don't want to let him down. And how can Doug make me so miserable from so far away? Your security? Usually it's the stars that are nuts. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. Mm hmm? Now, listen. You seem like a nice person, so let me give you a few pieces of good advice. Number one, you can't run away from your problems. And two, you'd make a lot more friends if you'd learn how to tip. <laughs> Wanted to see me? Hey, yeah. Come on in. So how's it going? Great. I'm uh, kind of curious how you like it on the road. Oh, I love it. You can go to hell for lying, Barbara. <laughs> I like it. I talked to your friend Kimberly. She gets pretty talkative, you know. Of course, you got to tip her first. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Garth, I hate it. I mean, I love working with you, but... This bus and motel thing gets real old. But don't worry, I'm not gonna quit. It's not the way I am. Barbara, I was hoping that you'd realize if there's one thing my music's about, it's about following your heart, doing what you really want to do. And to tell you the truth, I just don't feel that you want to do this. Well, that's really sweet, Garth, but I made a commitment. I'm gonna stick to it. Don't worry about the job. I mean, I can always get my mom back. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not quitting. Okay. You're fired. Wh why? Because I'm ruthless. I'm a big star. Garth! Barbara, I... maybe I can explain a little better. I'm going to play a song for you. You're going to sing a song now? Just to me? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I saw this in an Elvis movie. <laughs> you know a dream is like a river. Ever changing as it flows And the dreamer's just a vessel That must follow where it goes Trying to learn from what's behind you And never knowing what's in store Makes each day a constant battle Just to stay between the shores And there's bound to be rough waters And I know I'll take some falls But with a good lord my captain, I can make it through them all. Yes, I will sail my vessel till the river runs dry. Like a bird upon the wind, these waters are my sky. I'll never reach my destination if I never try. So I will sail my vessel till the river dry Yes, I will sail my vessel till the river runs dry Thanks for being ruthless. Hi. Hey. 
Hey, baby. Oh, how was your first day back at work? Great. I got a new partner. He's perfect. He's married, and he's really ugly. Well, I'm very happy for you, dear. Did you see that creep, Doug? Yes, and I let all my feelings out. I said everything I wanted to say, and I didn't hold anything back. Oh, Barbara, I'm so proud of you. You know, confrontation is extremely cathartic. But most importantly, did you experience closure? <laughs> no, but his left eye did after I socked him. Well, they finished my house, so I guess I'll be moving on. Charlie, didn't I kick you out yesterday? Uh-huh. Isn't that my suitcase? Uh-huh. And my shirt? Uh-huh. Later, Peter. <laughs> All right, maybe things can get back to normal now. <laughs> Come. All right, I'll get it, I'll get it, get it. Hi, Doctor. I hope I'm not intruding, but could I take a look around your house? It won't take a minute. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, ladies, step right this way for a tour of the home of the personal bodyguard of Garth Brooks. This is the dog that Garth Brooks petted. This is the couch that Garth Brooks sat on. This is nobody. Hold on, you give me a tour of my home? Well, I would have charged, but frankly, doctor, this ain't no Graceland. <laughs> Where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. And I'll be okay. <laughs> I'm not big on social graces. Think I'll slip on down to the oasis. So oh, I've got friends in a long place. Yeah. <laughs>